cymbals. I like playing them. Well, something you also do is you clean them. Hi, I'm Rev M. And I'm serious about cleaning. We're going to clean some cymbals. You might want to get a pad, some paper, take some notes. As serious as a bad tooth on steak night. Take some time for this baby. He's waiting for you. Caress him with cleaning so you can take him up there and beat him too. But I've cleaned uh, <clears throat> probably a couple thousand cymbals in my lifetime. I have over a hundred on my set. So let's move along here. I like to wear an apron. Maybe you don't. And I, I've seen guys on the internet, man, they clean their cymbals on their lap. They clean them on countertops. No, don't do that, man. But let me make some suggestions. Get yourself a nice surface with a nice towel, a nice, so you're protecting the edge. Um, and something that protects your clothing as well. Gloves, apron. I have special gloves here I use even for tear down the set. You bang your hands up. That's, you know what I'm talking about. So let's move along here. Pro Symbol Cleaning Part 2. Part 1, we talked about the Sabian Symbol Cleaner, which is, I like it because it's uh, very easy. It touch ups even on a cloth. Where if you touch up something with a Zildjian polish up there on a cymbal somewhere, you look at it, oh no, then you got to clean the whole cymbal. But I like uh, the Sabian, is that uh, it does a good job of that. Quick. Now, the Zildjian cymbal cleaning polish is different. You got to watch out. You know, Peisty cymbals, and, and they have a, a wax film, so you got to watch out what you use on them so you don't de uh, destroy that, that film. <clears throat> Where to clean? on a nice solid surface. Where to clean on a cymbal is important. Let me tell you something, you can use this cymbal cleaning polish just about any any surface. It says Zildjian trash formers, forget it. Don't, don't touch it with anything. Soap and water, man. Don't rush the process with it. It'll come out nicely. Let's talk about towels. Because it's important. And I do it for the Lord, so even more so. Microcloths are good. If you don't have any cloths, you're overseas. I've been collecting them for years. Then get yourself a good old uh, t-shirt, cotton t-shirt, and cut that up. Let me tell you something about a cloth. Simple cloth like this. You know how many sides are on this cloth right now? Right there, you just use one. That's one. But a lot of guys, they take the towel and they just, they do, they do, don't do that. Remember, you got sides to towels. Here's one, perfectly clean. Flip it over. There's two. You have one on the inside, one on the inside. Again, you can turn it and flip it over. Let's talk about the logos. Now you can mask your logo with masking tape, and tapes are very important. I'm not a masker. I don't mask it off so everything's clean and that looks a little old and tarnished. I don't like that. So what I do is that I get a very lightly Zildjian polished clean. Okay, I don't, I don't get into it, right? And give it a nice little buff. But what happens is that the logo goes light. And then I take a marks a lot. Don't use a Sharpie on this. You can use a Sharpie, okay? But you know when you go in and you want to take the Z and make it darker and the second coat gets a little purplish? That's what Sharpie does. But the, the marks a lot, you can get in there and touch that up a little bit and you find out your logo will look good for many, many years. Just a little tip. When you clean your symbol, no circles. Do not go in circles. Do not use paper towels unless you have to, okay? But do not go in circles. Go with and in the groove. That's a good time to get in the groove right there. You want to find a groove to get in? Get in the groove of your symbol, man. Yes, I like that. Right like that. Small sections. This 16-inch thin crash I've had for 33 years, this one right here has only been cleaned about uh, two or three times. Now we're gonna we're gonna clean a little portion of it. I would split this in four parts, and if I'm in a hurry, which I don't like to do, I might do half at once if I have the cloths and the energy, because it does take some energy to get some buffing going. So let's clean this symbol. First of all, I get a little bit of uh, wetness on the on the towel. I get the Zildjian, get it down bottom. I can put it on a symbol. I'll put it on a symbol here for you. I'm gonna clean the, the section right here. I just throw it in there, and I don't mind using it. There you go. I, let, I like to have it over the edge. The edge of the symbol is tough to clean. And you start with the one towel. The oxidation process takes place. It's not just the, the dirt and the grime you're going to see on this towel. It's the oxidation is starting to take place from the friction as the chemical makes its connection with the metal. Oxidation, not just grime. You know, 
and I just uh, work that a little bit. I go to another towel here, second generation. Right in that groove, get right around there like that. This is a very simple, quick clean. Yeah. There you go, just a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but that's, I just wanted to show you that. You'll do that on your own symbol, and sometimes you gotta do it a couple times if it's really dirty. Remember with Zildjian Symbol Polish, it, it really does take the metal off, anything abrasive. So be very careful how you use it. Some symbols you shouldn't clean. I mean, and you know who I'm talking to, and you know what symbols they are. And there's other, sometimes you're digging holes and you're putting them in the ground for six to eight months, that the minerals would be absorbed within the metal symbol and therefore change the sound, and that could be very, very cool. You know, I spent about 10 years in Africa, and so I know it's like in a third world country not to be able to have everything you might need. So if you don't have products, and I talk to a lot of uh, people from Brazil and all over the world at times, drummers, uh, that uh, I tell them use some ketchup. Man. They say, how can I clean my cymbals? I, I don't have anything. You have any ketchup? Tomato, acidity, lemons, yes. Well, get that cymbal, spread it all over it, leave it for about 45 minutes, and rinse it. I'm telling you, it'll do the job. It doesn't do it like these, but you do what you got to do. Well, this is Rev M. I had a good time. I hope you did too. I love playing drums and playing, and, uh, playing my cymbals and keeping everything clean. And I know you do too. God bless you, and have a good one. Yeah.